Hey there, Will Williamson here from the JDR Group. Are you thinking of a new website? Uh, in this video, I want to explain why WordPress is not necessarily the best platform to choose in our humble opinion, and why uh, at JDR Group, we have now stopped developing and building new websites on WordPress. So up until a couple of years before uh, this recording, uh, we were building pretty much all of our new websites on WordPress, uh, other than the e-commerce sites we built, which we often build in different platforms. Um, but for most businesses uh, that want a, uh, a brochure style website, uh, WordPress was the go-to. In fact, a high percentage of the internet is built on WordPress. It is the biggest single CMS system. CMS stands for content management system. It means website platform, in other words. But there are a number of issues with WordPress, and these came to a head last year, which meant that we took the decision at JDR to stop developing new websites in the platform. Uh, because things move on, technology changes, and um, we believe that WordPress has actually become an outdated method of building websites. So let's start by diving into a couple of notable articles from around the web on this subject. Uh, this is Impact, who are a marketing agency based in the US. Um, they talk about the challenge with uh, how every WordPress website has a different backend, the amount of customization needed, because WordPress itself is fairly basic, so you have to kind of build on it a lot. Uh, normally, that's done by use of plugins, which I'll explain in a minute. Security issues, more on that later. Um, updates are difficult to keep up with. Again, we'll talk about more about that. Page speed. Uh, now, page speed is a very important factor at the moment in Google. So uh, moreover today, Google uses page load time in their ranking algorithm and penalizes websites that move slower. Page speed is very, very important. Comes with a steep learning curve, no backup system, frequent error messages. So this article uh, highlights some of the most common errors that you see with WordPress websites. You can get technical problems with WordPress websites. Um, so limited functionality out of the box, old architecture, increased exposure to hackers. Um, so basically WordPress is incredibly popular. And the reason is incredibly popular is because how it's put together. So WordPress is open source software. It is freely available online. It is freely accessible for anyone and everyone. Anyone can get uh, a copy of WordPress and get all the, the source code. Now, there are a number of pre-built themes and templates that you can choose as well. So I've just Googled here, WordPress themes. I have all these ads. If I click on the top result here, I will be shown a huge library of pre-built websites effectively that I can buy for like 25, 30, 50 dollars. Um, so if I choose to buy that particular theme, I've basically bought an out of the box website. I'll need to change maybe the colors, the branding, all of the content, uh, but the actual website layout is all done for me. So it's a pre-built theme. So WordPress itself is fairly basic, but these pre-built themes that you can buy uh, give you a real shortcut to putting a website together. Then you also have third-party plugins. So WordPress has a massive library of uh, add-ons, uh, which are all basically separate pieces of software that you can plug onto, plug into your WordPress website. And a lot of WordPress websites will have um, multiple plugins, um, some cases dozens. Um, we've got sites that have 70 or 80 plugins uh, that are installed um, because WordPress itself, going back to some of the articles I just showed you, WordPress itself is relatively limited, but with the pre-built themes and then the plugins that are available, you can make it do a lot of different things. So you can customize websites. And that means that it's pretty quick and cost-effective for people to, for web designers, to be able to give you a pretty good looking website. Uh, your web designer can buy a theme, customize it, add in some plugins, upload your content, and in about half a day has produced a really nice looking website on the face of it. Now, that approach is problematic. So let's just look at this. Um, all of that will then get hosted locally by a server. So you've got your, you've got your WordPress 
uh, installation. So that's the WordPress software, the standard out of the box WordPress software. Then you have a second thing, which is your theme. And then you have all of the different plugins. So you get all of that put together and host it on a server. Now, um, the WordPress code is relatively simple, uh, but often these themes come with a load of code. And um, that basically can mean that a, a, with a, with a pre-built theme, you have a fairly complex website that has uh, relatively slow load speeds. Um, and um, so when we develop WordPress websites, when we were developing WordPress websites, we'd always avoid that shortcut of using a pre-made theme and build our own, because that way we could make it leaner, faster, better load speeds, better for Google, uh, less risk of, uh, of, of being hacked. Plugins as well slow a website down. The more of these plugins you have, um, the more it can slow the load speed. Um, in this video um, on the Google Core update, uh, which has been a major, major update, the, probably the biggest single update that Google has done in years and years and years, maybe since about 2013, the Google Core update put a heavy um, prioritization on load speed. And uh, this video uh, talks more about that. And this article talks more about that and uh, the increasing role that has in how high your website comes up in Google. In fact, we've seen some of our clients who have slower websites have actually dropped in the search results since this update came into play. And part of the reason is because you have this uh, network with all of these different add-ons and plugins. So uh, that it's like um, driving with the handbrake on. Basically, if you're trying to get a website to the highest possible uh, Google ranking, you're trying to reach your online potential. Um, each one of these plugins, the theme that you use, they are all slowing you down. In the video I just mentioned, uh, Emma describes each plugin as like putting a, an extra brick in your knapsack. It just slows you down and uh, it makes it harder for you to uh, achieve the best possible results online. But there is a um, uh, another issue with WordPress, uh, which is to do with security. So each of these, your theme is an individual uh, piece of code built by a developer. And that could be hacked and accessed uh, by a hacker. Each individual plugin that you have on your website could be targeted by, by hackers. The server that your website is hosted on, uh, whichever hosting company you use, um, the, their servers could be hacked and they could get access to your website. So uh, the more of these plugins that you have, if you use pre-built themes, if your website is hosted locally on a server, those are all uh, areas that, that hackers can get access to your website. Now, in September in 2020, uh, there was a global hack affecting WordPress websites. Now, WordPress websites are hacked all the time, uh, but this was a major, major event. Um, so uh, in this hack, uh, people got access to over a million WordPress websites if your website was one of those affected, people going to your site would have been shown this message and that click allow would have basically sent people to a page where eventually they'd have had malware uh, on their device. So that's not great for a business to have, uh, have that showing up where your website should be. So um, this article explains more. Let me just go into this. It was uh, affected millions and millions of websites, and it was all to do with a, a plugin called File Manager. So that is one of these types of plugins. So um, this particular plugin, separate piece of software, uh, hackers were able to get access to it in a very sophisticated way. And therefore, every website that used that particular plugin was then vulnerable uh, as a result of this hack. And that affected over a million websites. Uh, over a million businesses. Now, um, this is a uh, factor that affects WordPress sites more than any other. 
Um, this article shows WordPress accounts for more than 90% of all hacked uh, CMS sites. And we host a number of CMS websites and uh, a number of WordPress sites, hundreds of WordPress websites. And we are having to fight off uh, hack attempts more and more and more as time goes on. And it takes up development time. And it means that we can't spend time working on developing client websites because we're being reactive, trying to respond to cyber security threats on their websites. Now, um, what this has meant is that we've taken the decision that WordPress is a very difficult platform to fully secure. Now, um, what happens when you have all of these different items uh, is that any one of them is potentially vulnerable to a hack. Now, you can um, limit that by making sure they are kept up to date. So um, if you have a, a smartphone, like my iPhone here, every now and then you'll get a notification that there is an update needed to your software. And so you will do the update and it will switch on and off for a bit. And then your software has all been updated. Same with Windows, uh, same with, uh, with, with most of the tools we use day to day. Um, WordPress is the same. WordPress requires updates. There are newer versions that get released every so often. And in general, those uh, releases include security patches. But as well as needing to update WordPress, you'll also need to update your theme if you use a theme, because that will need to be updated. Sometimes themes are no longer supported and stop being updated, and they then become vulnerable. Um, every plugin you use will need to be updated. And again, some of them don't get supported by the developers any longer, and they then become vulnerable. So you have, if you have, let's say, 20 plugins on your WordPress website and different, uh, different plugins need to be updated at different times, your website hosting company needs to be very proactive in making sure that uh, those uh, different items get updated as soon as possible because uh, we've logged into various WordPress websites and we've seen right the, these updates are more than a year old and they haven't been implemented. That's a major security problem. Uh, so um, you know, we need to you need to have a, a website hosting company that's really on top of the maintenance. That obviously costs money. And uh, there are hosting packages. For example, WP Engine is a hosting service that will automatically update plugins as soon as updates become available. So uh, you can pay for kind of extra security measures with a WordPress website. Now, the challenge that comes with that is then you can get these types of errors. Uh, because um, often if you update one plugin, it can then conflict with the theme or with other plugins, and it can uh, cause the website to go down or to be broken or to show in a really weird way, and that can take then development time to fix it. So uh, the longer your WordPress website uh, is around, it might be fine on day one, uh, but if you keep the same website for two, three, four, five years, the longer time goes on, the more risk of those types of problems occurring. So at the start of 2021, um, we took the decision to move to the HubSpot website platform, the HubSpot CMS. And this video explains the benefits that we've seen in JDR since doing that. So let me just summarize those for you. So um, it's improved our load speeds really significantly. Uh, we've moved a number of our clients from WordPress to HubSpot, and they've all seen a major benefit in terms of site speed and have seen improved Google rankings as a result of doing that. Um, better user experience. Um, it is, um, as one of the articles I showed you earlier um, refers to, uh, WordPress websites can be actually quite difficult to update in the back end. Basic changes to text and things can be quite easy. Publishing blog posts can be easy, but making design changes and layout changes can involve knowledge of HTML code, CSS, etc., uh, which I don't personally have, and most marketers don't have. Uh, with the HubSpot website platform, I can just log into any of the pages on our site. Uh, let's pick this one, for example. <clears throat> And I can make quick edits. So I can edit uh, the actual content of the page, of course, uh, using this kind of WYSIWYG editor here. Um, 
but I can also insert uh, various modules. So I can insert a form, a call to action, an image, a video, uh, buttons, uh, RSS feeds, and we can have we can develop and design our own modules that we can just drop in. So if we want to have a row for our accreditations, we can just create that as a as a module and just drag and drop onto the page. So if I want to put something in this little gap here, let's uh, choose a video, for example. I can just drag, move that to that gap, choose my video. There we go. So I'm now just going to choose the video I want to use. We'll use that one. Um, and there we go. So uh, making changes it becomes really, really easy. And that means we're able to be dynamic with our website, really keep it up to date. Um, and we're able to get a really good reports on how the pages of our websites perform because HubSpot has a really detailed analytics tool. So uh, we get real good information on how people are using the website, where people are coming from, what pages they're looking at, how long they're spending on site, et cetera. Now, because HubSpot has a CRM system, we're then able to see how many leads are generated from each page, what the conversion rates are from each page. Um, so we can really review the performance of our pages from a conversion perspective. The other thing we're able to do is run tests. We can A, B test individual pages of our website. We can add uh, website personalization. Um, so we can do a number of things to optimize the conversion of our website, which you can't do easily in WordPress. And uh, it makes basic day-to-day -day edits uh, really fast and easy. Um, for us, it means um, we are on the uh, CMS platform, our website now, we may need to change the look of it, the design of it, but the underlying platform won't change. It doesn't need updates. Plugins don't need updating because it's a subscription model. So that all happens just in the background automatically. Um, it doesn't get broken, doesn't drop down, security is much higher. So as a platform, uh, HubSpot CMS has got lots and lots of benefits over WordPress. It's, there is an investment because it is a subscription service rather than using free software. Um, but if you're serious about having the best possible website platform, uh, then our strong recommendation is using the HubSpot CMS platform and not using WordPress for all the reasons we've covered in this video. For more information about it, please get in touch uh, because there are a number of different options with uh, the HubSpot CMS. If you have an e-commerce website, there are specialist platforms uh, that are better than using WordPress for e-commerce. Um, so please get in touch with us to find out more, find out how we can help you, what your options are for your particular business. Every business is different, has different needs. And we take that into account when evaluating what would be the right recommendation for your particular website, for your particular website project. Hope that's been useful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go to jdrgroup.co.uk for more information, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.